Hey guys, exciting day. Today I get to show you the new milling machine. And uh, before I do, I just want to show you another thing I bought. Um, and it's this, uh, this is my, okay, here's the thing. I'm shooting with my GoPro 3 right now. And here's my GoPro 5, which I usually use. And uh, what I did was I bought this Rode VideoMic Go. And I'm hoping that's going to improve the sound quality. So uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to use that. And uh, I hope you will enjoy the videos even more. Uh, so we'll head over to that camera now. So here is the milling machine. Uh, I'm just going to give you a, a quick background on this and uh, then we'll uh, go over the machine, talk a little bit about it, talk about the accessories, uh, which are not on here right now. Um, so uh, what we'll start with is the make of this. This is a, actually I'll just take the camera off. and. So uh, the machine I bought is a Varnamo or uh, in Swedish it's Varnamo and uh, I'm actually not sure about the model uh, but that's the make of it and uh, this machine has not been used for a while it uh, I bought it from uh, from someone who who had not used it. He bought it uh, in some kind of lump along with uh, some other machines, and uh, it's just been been standing in his uh, his barn, as you can see from the rust and everything. And uh, I was actually debating with myself about what to do with this because a part of me wants to tear this machine down to the last bolt and just uh, restore it from the ground up. Um, but I had a friend over yesterday and we got to talking about it and uh, he suggested that I shouldn't do that right now. I, uh, I do have some other projects and uh, I want to I I just don't feel I have the the time right now to make a full restoration of this machine. So what I've decided is that I am going to overhaul the machine. Uh the table will be taken off, everything will be uh cleaned up, uh get away all the rust. Uh lube everything up and just you know just make sure the machine is in a really good condition uh, but as the the as far as it goes to to painting it and everything I'm not gonna do that and uh, I'm just gonna make sure the machine is in a good condition to be used and maybe in the future um, I may tear it down completely and make a full restoration but that's as I see it right now, that's way in the future. If I get this machine running good and uh, everything working, I I think that's going to take some time before I uh, want to tear it down completely. So, um, from what I've been able to test, I think that everything on the machine works. All the levers uh, are moving uh, the feed engages and everything um, I do have some questions that I uh, think some of my viewers might be able to answer so I'm gonna uh, come to that a little later on but um, just just testing it quickly uh, it seems like everything's working and I have had it running and we're gonna fire it up in just a little while and uh, so you can just see it move we're not gonna do any machining or anything because I want to get rid of all this rust and just clean everything up before I before I start running it uh, more than just a, a test run uh, 
Um, I don't know a whole lot about this machine. Uh, I know it's a horizontal mill, uh, Vernamo make, and I have a uh, vertical head that I got with it. That's a Sio head, which seems to be in a good condition, so I don't expect there's going to be any problems there. And there's some arbors that are not in a very good condition that needs to be restored somehow. I'm going to look into that later. Uh, so I'm just going to give you some close-ups and I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the questions I have and uh, what I think you may be able to help me with. So here's the back of the machine. We have the arbor support drawbar for fastening the arbors and uh, down here we have some belts and I'm not sure you can see in there because it's kind of dark but uh, there's a whole lot of wiring in there that looks pretty shifty so I'm gonna have a look at that secure everything up there's some kind of cover here that's been broken off uh, it's probably supposed to be like that to to cover that belt and that's a belt for the for the feed um, which goes via this rod here uh, we have a we have some electrics to a cooling pump that's in here somewhere I uh, I can't seem to get the cooling pump going so that's another thing I'm gonna have a look at later uh, I may also just leave that and uh, ignore the cooling pump and uh, just make myself some kind of uh, uh, maybe some mist cooling or something like that um, we have some oilers looks really dry um, good thing is that the the spindle and everything is looking looking good uh, the head, the vertical head was on it when I when I uh, picked it up. Uh, it wasn't bolted but it was kind of just stuck on there and uh, I um, it seemed to fit good so so I don't think there's gonna be any problems with that. I didn't get the for this arbor support uh, I didn't get this uh, I don't know what that's called but uh, this bracket that's supposed to connect the the arbor to the arbor support so that's probably a future project to make myself one of those let's see what else uh, when I was test running it yesterday I um, I tested the auto feed and from what I can uh, I can't find anywhere where I can set the uh, the feed rate except for this little that's my strong fingered friend who's tightened that I'm just gonna get a, a wrench As you can see there's a couple of uh, sprockets there and uh, that's one of my questions. I didn't get any sprockets with this uh, mill but I suspect that that's where you set the feed rate only I think it's a pretty uh, it's not a very, very easy way to to set the feed rate because it takes some some time to sw swap the sprockets so if anyone has any info on uh, whether or not that that is a correct assumption that that is actually the way you set the feed rate on this machine by by uh, changing the sprockets uh, please leave me a comment i really appreciate that there's a couple of uh, locking mechanisms here this is where you lock the uh, the that axis that's where you lock uh, the table going 
towards you or uh, away from you and right here you can tighten that nut uh, to lock the sidewards mo movement and coming over to this side we have a couple of uh, locking levers for the arbor support there's a, a glass oil uh, looking glass we have the front and backwards running of the the spindle and down here is the gearbox levers so you can set different speeds also if anyone has any info, info on what this is uh, I think I'll be able to figure it out but if you happen to know please leave me a comment uh, I don't have a whole lot of experience on uh, milling machines so uh, all of this is pretty new to me but um, so I'm, I'm uh, really if you if you have any info to give me I'd really appreciate it because it makes life so much easier when restoring it I'm also gonna have to make myself a couple of uh, feet for it as you can see here there's a couple of bolts here with nuts on the uh, on the bottom uh, there's nothing in the back so I'm gonna have to make myself a couple of uh, bolts and uh, a couple of feet to uh, to make it stand properly on the on the floor here so here are the accessories I got with the mill um, this is an adapter plate I'm guessing to fit because the the vertical head doesn't fit the mill right off so they needed to make a uh, a adapter plate and here we have the uh, vertical head so this is a Sayo uh, also made in Vernamo which is a town in Sweden about uh, I don't know maybe a hundred uh, kilometers from a little more 200 kilometers from where I live um, and this uh, vertical head is a Sayo VRF 51 uh, there's a number on it doesn't say what year it was manufactured um, and there's some instructions on what kind of grease and uh, yeah a couple of different kinds kinds of grease that uh, that you should use uh, on this but it's I it it feels good and uh, I think it's uh, actually working good so uh, I'm not expecting any problems with this uh, I'm gonna try and get rid of the rust of course uh, there's some rust on this here too so all that's gonna be cleaned up I I'm hoping before use before using it and uh, moving over here here are the arbors and as you can see they're not in a very good condition there's quite a bit of rust on these and uh, I would be surprised since this mill seemed to have led a, a pretty harsh existence I would be surprised if these are perfectly straight so I'm gonna have to go over all of these and just uh, get rid of all the rust and uh, well if it's possible at all but I'm hoping I can refurbish them to uh, to a, a good standard so I can use them otherwise I'm gonna have to get myself uh, some new ones but uh, they are probably a little bit hard to get a hold of and uh, probably expensive to buy so I'm hoping to be able to use these there's a couple of different uh, sizes this one is 
probably a 20 millimeters and uh, looks like a 15 or something and there's a, just a, a whole bunch of them so that's something that we're gonna we're gonna have to get going as well I think I'll be using mostly the vertical head so I'm gonna have to get some tooling for that and uh, before I'm I'm able to use it at all I did actually buy uh, a while back when I started looking for uh, milling machines I bought this box of uh, different cutters so I have a, a pretty good selection of cutters uh, I got it pretty cheap and um, that's that's gonna come in hand and come in handy when I uh, when I get this up and running so uh, there's really only one thing left of this video and that's to give you a uh, quick uh, demonstration of it running so uh, I've connected the power turn it on and we'll just push this button and it's up and running there's some vibration in it could be because it's not standing very very good on the on the feet uh, you can engage the, the power feed just uh, change gears here I think that's the highest gear if I'm not mistaken so that's the mill running um, I don't want to run it too much because I have no idea if there's uh, oil in the gearbox so next step is to just tear the table off and uh, and just uh, start working my way down from there there's gonna be a whole lot of cleaning to do uh, a whole lot, whole lot of uh, rust removal and oiling and greasing and just uh, checking everything to know that my my machine is in a, a good mechanical order so I'm gonna put up a series of videos and uh, I really hope you're gonna enjoy them uh, I am very excited about getting this machine running I really want it running right now but um, I have to be realistic it is going to take some time to uh, to uh, get this up and running so that's about it for this video hope you've enjoyed and uh, i hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching bye